So today I want to actually talk about a little bit about the energies that are swirling around right now. Um, so tomorrow night is the full moon in Aries and full moons in general tend to highlight areas in our life that we need to like let go of, uh, release, surrender to, um, heal. And so there are so many ways to <clears throat> take note of what you're being shown and I want you to like pay attention to like what happened yesterday, what's happening today, what will happen tomorrow. Just be a little bit more observant of yourself. So pay attention to when something upsets you. Pay attention to when you react to a situation in a childlike way. Where you're like, hmm, that's not fair. No. Pay attention to that. Um, pay attention to the things that are happening around you. If there's anything that has happened in the past and it's happening again and just reflect on it and see what is being shown to you. Why, you know, is it bringing up this, these emotions? Why are you being shown this and which areas are you being shown to like let go and release because we will be heading into um eclipse season and then also after that at the end of the month there's going to be mars retrograde which will be fabulous um and then also scorpio season which is death and rebirth and so there's going to be a lot of introspection or a lot of like things happening for you to go in and just check in on yourself. Now, the levels will be different per person, you know, depending on where you're at in your journey. So there's no saying that it's going to be like super deep, dark, depressing. It could just be, you know, a little tune up in some things or it can be, you know, kind of really going in deep. And so get curious um, because I feel like this is like kind of coming out of Mercury retrograde being able to like, and we're still in the shadow period of Mercury, re Mercury retrograde. So if you're noticing like this, like lack of communication here and there, it's because Mercury is in the shadow. Um, but we're coming out of that. And this year's Mercury, like this Mercury retrograde was definitely a lot of lessons were shown. Um, a lot of things happening. Like I found it was really intense, like especially with like technology and like things being canceled, things not working. Like there was definitely a lot of stuff. Um, and so we're kind of coming out of that and we're kind of being given this space to breathe. But now the energy is going to like ramp up a little bit and you know, kind of highlight certain things in our lives to look at. Highlight where are we holding on to the steering wheel? Highlight where are we living in the past or living in the future? And how can we anchor ourselves in the present moment? And so there's all these things being shown and in areas where we need to heal, heal so that we can step into that next version of ourselves so that we can grow and evolve and just paying attention to all of that and paying attention to all of it around you uh the your environment is your breadcrumbs it is how the universe your spirit team all communicates with you your body your emotions your reactions your physical sensations as well is your body communicating to you so even if you notice yourself having headaches or if you are having you know cramps like or certain body pain somewhere get curious and ask yourself like obviously yeah logically you can be like oh you know like my period's coming or the pressure of the weather is causing this headache or I drank too much last night. And yes, it could be the, it could be those things. I'm not disregarding that, but still get curious as to what, why is your body speaking to you? What is the pain? Cause sometimes the pain can become from a place that like some healing needs to be done. And so getting curious and sitting down with yourself and asking your body, like, you know, why is the headache come out or what what is this pain happening so 
your body communicates to you in many ways through all sorts of like all sorts of um different ways that i said before and so why to share that with you um as these energies are ramping up um know that i am going to be like holding space for you all through all this time as i am holding space for myself and i'm also like kind of like doing i found like um past few weeks like kind of really like also diving into some inner healing uh i kind of took a little bit of a break before that and then now i'm kind of getting back into it and in my life too i'm being like shown and like things are being highlighted to me of like okay like this is still something that needs to be healed that has that wasn't healed that it has been keep coming up and so kind of like the little bit of the fine tune tuning so holding space for that myself um so that i can hold space for you and we're going to get through this together i'm going to definitely be present on stories a little bit more um but obviously being a projector trusting in alignment and when it feels right um I'm not going to go on stories for the sake of going on stories just because like I feel like I have to like I'm going to go on stories and I'm going to support you I'm going to ask you questions I am going to bring back the money stuff as I promised but when will that happen will be all in my own alignment um if it doesn't feel right it doesn't feel right and you know me forcing it it's not going to land for you either way so <clears throat> that being said I love you all and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I know up in here in Canada, it's uh, Thanksgiving weekend. So happy Thanksgiving. And if you celebrate it, um, I am going to be having a Friendsgiving tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that. We're like making a turkey and a big ass chicken as well. So that's going to be fun. Um, so I'll probably be sharing some stories about that because it's going to be like me and my sister's friend Grace cooking. Um, and so she's like an awesome human. And so I'm excited to like spend a day cooking with her, which will be really fun. And that's it. So I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Bye.